What's up, Fi fans? It has been a while. I haven't seen a lot of you since De Ritter vs. Malekin 1166 in Qatar. That was a great event. Uh, but in less than two weeks, we've got one Fight Night 21 coming your way. There have already been five fights announced for this, more to come. And I thought I'd just do this video and preview some of the fights that have been announced and give you my predictions. So the main fight of the night is a lightweight world kickboxing championship fight, Brahim Urso versus Alexis Nicholas. But before we get to that, let's get into some of the other fights that have been announced because I think there are two on there that are very interesting and that are going to be a lot of fun to watch. The first fight that I want to preview and give you my prediction for is Tetsuka versus Da Silva. This was actually supposed to happen at one fight night 19, but for whatever reason it was canceled. Tetsuka still did go on to fight and win by submission in the first round against another Brazilian opponent, but he's getting the chance to face Da Silva here at one fight night 21. If you followed Tetsuka's career at all, you know that he lives up to his nickname, the Japanese Beast. This guy is just an absolute monster in the cage, in the ring, does what he needs to to get in there and finish the fight. Look at him unleash on his opponent in this clip. He's 186 pounds and only five foot six, so he is just packed, solid, full of muscle. You do not want to get hit by this guy at all. It is lights out, knockout power that Tetsuka brings. So in trying to predict this fight, I'm going to give the striking to him. I'm also going to give him the grappling. I mean, well, actually, let me back up. Just look at his striking. Look at the way he pounds his opponents. He's also got the grappling and the endurance. If you look at his uh, his one record, his average bout duration is eight minutes and five seconds. If you look at uh, some of his early victories, he's gone round three, round three, round three, just goes the distance. No question. There's no questioning of his endurance. I think this guy has it on lock this victory, and I'm predicting him to win. No need to go into the wild card factor. He's just going to win. I'd be very surprised if he didn't. Uh, next fight is a Muay Thai, flyweight Muay Thai fight. Jacob Smith versus Dennis, the Bosnian menace, Purich. This is going to be good. Both of them are great strikers. Dennis uh, had a recent match against a Vietnamese opponent. I'm blanking on his name, but it was just incredible striking. One punch knockout floored his opponent. Uh, he has got some heavy fists, a lot of power behind them. On the other hand, Jacob Smith can take damage, and he is he's also got great knockout power. But if you watched Jacob Smith's fight versus Rod Tang, I mean, look at this. Rod Tang is bowing to him and giving him credit, even though Rod Tang won the match, because Jacob Smith just took a ton of damage, took a ton of elbows to the face. You can see his bloody nose. He can take damage, and I think if anyone can take Dennis's heavy hands, it's going to be Jacob Smith, who also has great endurance and is very smart, very uh, cerebral in the Muay Thai matches. So he is he's also got great conditioning. That's why I give the endurance to both of them and the striking to both of them. But Smith is younger, and I think he wants it more, and that's why I think he's going to win. Next up, the co-main events are both submission grapplings. Uh, one is for the welterweight submission grappling world championship, Ty Rotolo versus Isaac Mitchell. I believe Isaac Mitchell called out Ty Rotolo, or at least that's what was said during one of the uh, post-match, one of Ty's post-match interviews. So this is this this should be good. Um, I've given both victories to the Rotolo brothers. I don't think anyone has ever made money betting against them, and I don't see that changing. So these are both super safe bets um, that I'm happy to place, and I'm gonna say that they're gonna win. Hopefully the matches are interesting. You know, I'm not as huge a fan of submission grappling as I am of MMA. I like to see striking, I like to see blood, but these matches can still be interesting. There was a recent one on one fight night. I forget, but the most recent one fight night, two Japanese guys were absolutely tumbling on the ground. So these matches can be interesting. I think they're still definitely worth watching, but both victories, I think, are going to the Rotolo brothers. The main card is Urso versus Nicholas. As I said at the beginning, I'm pretty sure Urso's gonna win. I can't envision a scenario where he doesn't. 
kind of wondering why one chose to put this opponent against him. Uh, Ursul is 10 and 0 in one. So they really got to throw someone hard at him to, to really test him. They threw uh, Dmitry Menchikov and he got knocked out in the first round. So Ursul wins this match. But stick around because one is going to put more fights on the card and I will have my predictions for those out as soon as they do. Hopefully we get some more MMA and some Muay Thai. And yeah, can't wait for it. Let's go.